Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here, MMAForSelfDefense.com. I'm going to show you the Cobra Punch. A little punch I sort of made up, you know, combined with Sistema and, and, and different martial arts. I'm um, usually on a punch. This is similar to a cross. You turn your heels first, come the energy off the body, and then punch like a whip. The Cobra Punch, you do the punch first, like a whip, so it's very deceptive speed-wise to the eyes. Even if you look at Manny Pacquiao's double left cross sometimes, his left foot's off the ground and he hops in with the punch. Because he throws the punch first instead of grounding the punch. You have to learn how to ground your punch for MMA. In a long fight, grounding the punch is probably better. But this is opposite theory and it, it hides the punch. Instead of doing this, I do this. I move the punch. And then I take the space, I can move behind him. I can go and this punch will be very fast. It's like the end of a whip or a cobra head. Okay? So this is good punch for the body. Even from this distance, I won't even do a full whip. Okay, get close. Even from this distance, the flick of the this swoop. Okay? Okay, even this is nasty. Okay, and this is just from this looseness. Okay? And this is very deceptive to the face and for self-defense. It's very fast. Okay, in and stick it in back. Even on one foot, it's pretty nasty. That's one foot, so I'm not grounded for leverage. Okay, I'll do a full one to his stomach. Now, the, the, the good thing about this punch, and it's similar, I'll talk about how you can use an MMA, and how it's a little similar to Machida's left cross. I can actually start to throw it to the face. Move my body behind it. If I see his hands come up, I can articulate my elbow up and drop the punch to the stomach. I can change the trajectory of the punch if you practice mid-flight. That's pretty cool. You usually can't do that. Okay, so I start to go to his face, and I see him go to block, and I can articulate my elbow up and drop it to the stomach. Okay, he avoided that one, carried that one, but... Yeah, give me a Ready? Exhale, exhale, okay. Okay, it's really deep, it's really fast, and it's hard to see. Here, this is a regular cross. You have a lot of visual cues, even if you're a good boxer, you hide your shoulders, keep your elbow in tight. There's still visual cues. But if you're loose, and you shoot the punch before the body, it's very deceptive. Here's a typical left cross. Okay, you see the physical tension in me? Versus this, you dance around like a cheeto with your hands kind of loose. So Cobra Punch right hook from Southpaw is something I do really well, and I'll show you how to do with the gloves on a little bit later. So that's the Cobra Punch, you snap it in, um, like you're stealing, like the Cobra's getting some food. I can even hear this close, in his chest, boom, the articulation, and I can move my body weight behind it, so even close range, without all of this motion, which helps. I don't hear the strength stronger, but here, Okay, so, at close range, you're okay. Sorry. Um, that was this close range. What I did was I hit him and stuck the punch deep by moving my body weight behind the punch and taking the space. I didn't just snatch the chest. This time I snatched and I moved it. So it was very deep, yes? Say someone Russian. Uh, on the... Использует энергию тела, и когда он делает даже расслабленный руки, он дает тело, то удар очень сильно плохой, как бы, как бы почувствовал себя его даже на печени, хотя удар был там все so I'm teaching a little bit how to hit deep. That last thing was an example. I didn't even want to kill the guy. I can hit a lot stronger than that. Um, by putting your body weight, taking his space, taking his space, like board breaking. Okay, karate tech, what guys? What I do is I don't think about hitting him. I think about hitting him and moving my fist as if his body wasn't there. I want to take his face. If I could, I'd like to punch through him like I'm a superhero and just blow bits out of him and just make a big hole through him like a laser blast, like a photon cannon or something. That's really what you want to do. If you think, of, here's an analogy. If you think of a double semi truck, a, a heavy with double semi trailers behind it, okay? If that hits a car, hits a wall, even if the front of it 
stops its momentum. The, the, the double rear end trailers are going to keep coming with all that weight and momentum forward. So that's what I did that last punch to him. If you rewind it and watch it, I, I punched and I walked through. I keep my body weight coming behind it. So that's another use of the cobra punch. Now I'll show how to do that to the face in MMA. Like I said, Machida here, instead of, and even Manny Pacquiao, if you watch him, he's not grounded necessarily with his feet. If you just loosen up, if you throw the fist first instead of the body, it's very hard to read. Okay? Can you see this one? A little harder to see. So harder to see with your looseness. Okay, a cover punch, guys. I'll show you how to use it in MMA. I'm Dan the Wolfman. Go to MMAforselfdefense.com.